Welcome back. A healthy lifestyle has become a major priority in the quest for meaningful living. And experts tell us that nutrition um, is its anchor. So Olusheye Adironke, she is a certified holistic health practitioner. And her mission is to help get people off pills using herbs and essential oils. Remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways to Africa One with the hashtag Ways or SMS 081-8038-4663. Thanks for joining us, Adironke. Thank you so much. I like that part of, uh, what's it called, health and I mean, pills, getting off pills, mm -hmm. you know, using herbs, you know, but uh, Isi, you have the floor. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're welcome to the show. Thank Good to so have much. you on board. Same here. So my first question to you is actually two questions. Okay. So what's the difference between cleansing and detox? And what's the difference between healthy detox and healthy living? Okay. Um, basically, cleansing and detox. There are words that are used interchangeably okay. because detox is short for detoxification, which, is, which means getting rid of toxins from your body system. I mean, when you do a cleanse also, that is what it does, gets rid of toxins, rubbish from your body system. So basically, in my own, to the best of my knowledge, I think it's the same thing. We just use those words interchangeably. interchangeably exactly. Okay, so healthy However, living. you could have some different types of detox. You understand some um, for instance as a person I am very key on colon cleansing because 80% um, of the diseases that plague us as human beings as from the gut a healthy gut is a healthy body mm. okay yeah. so if you may answer the question um, the um, what's it called the healthy detox yeah. and healthy living are okay. they interrelated yeah they are interrelated I mean like um, you can't live healthy and not detox from time to time, you understand? So how often yes. are we supposed to detox? Well, that depends on your lifestyle as a person, you understand? For, for someone like me, I'm practically detoxing every day by reason of the kind of foods that I eat. Mm. Um, I basically start my day with a glass cup of cucumber with lemon juice, you understand? That is a fantastic um, cleansing juice recipe for anyone that wants to cleanse. Water is also very good. So for someone like me, I don't need to sit down and say, oh, I want to go on a 14 days or a 20 ah. days. Mm -hmm. Do you well, first of all, why, why are you guys oppressing us? Yes. First of all, shut down. <laughs> now it's you. All of you are not having our iced tea. You know, what is the big deal? You know, so is it, is it, okay, so where the question is going is a lot of times people just feel like, it, but it's just one glass. You know, it's just one day and it's, you know, it keeps building like that. And mm -hmm. people take, um, what's it called? Fizzy drinks. They take. They take um, the 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 alcohol. No, they, no, the yeah, alcohol. They yes. take the, then the the packed juice that's mm. not freshly squeezed okay. and yes. all of that. Processed what juice. are the you know the the overall effect you know on inside the, our internal system? Mm. What how does that effect affect us? Okay, number one is that they're addictive. Mm. Mm. That is why I I as a person I stayed clear from it. I mean I think I'm three years clean now. Yeah. Because I used to be very addicted to fizzy drinks. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like, I could take, like, three bottles every single day. Were you still this slim? or Yes, you were... I was, but I, I can tell you that I wasn't healthy. Oh. I knew it. My okay. body knew it. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And um, so, number one is addictive. Okay. Um, number two, people develop allergies, and they don't know why they develop allergies. They think it is, oh, I, I react to this, I react to that. I was still having a conversation with someone yesterday. And she said, she made a statement, she said, I thank you for helping me to get off MSG seasoning. Since the day I stopped using MSG seasoning, the migraines I used to have stopped. Really? Yes. So most people don't even realize that what they are eating, what they are drinking, is, at the, root, is the root cause of okay. the diseases that they are dealing with. So they use the pills, they take this, they take that, and nothing seems to be working. Okay, so, um, Roke, yeah. can we go deeper? Because I have... Okay. I have also had pills when I was Excuse losing me. weight. Do you understand? There's a pill that you take that helps to shrink your, uh, what's it called? Fats. Uh, stomach to reduce, so that it, it, it kills your, your appetite, appetite a bit so you don't have to eat all and all that. Time. So I did that when I was a lot bigger. Okay. I was really big, you know, then and all of that. So are you trying to tell me now that all of those pills are not healthy? Because I see a lot of people right now paying so much money you know, to want to, because first of all, that thing of weight loss and healthy living 
well, Shadams has helped us to explain. It's not all the time that because you want to live healthy, it's synonymous to weight loss. Yes. Mm -hmm. Healthy living is healthy living. Yeah. You want to stay alive. That's how I, yeah. I couch it. But I see a lot of people in the bid to want to lose weight and all of that. They take a lot of um, processed drugs, you yes. know, to keep the appetite low. I have done it before. You know, I'm not absorbing myself off that, you know. But how healthy is that? Okay, I would say it is not healthy, and this is my this is the reason why I said so. It is not sustainable. Okay. Mm. Because when you now get off those pills, what next? You go back to your whole lifestyle, and then you're back to square one, and then you go back there. It is not sustainable. One thing I've come to realize with people that struggle to lose weight is that most times it's not even weight they need to lose. It is waste. Mm. So when they lose waste, they realize that the weight comes down. Healthy living, eating right, a healthy diet. And when people hear that word diet, I try as much as possible to, you know, refrain from using the word diet yeah, yeah. because of the way, it's you know, it is used. Yeah. 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 Yes. So when you hear the word diet, you think, oh, it has to be so regimented, it has to be so strict. strict no. Yeah. Diet is something that you that is sustainable. Diet is something that you can do without, I mean, Thank without struggling. So much, yeah. And it is in your everyday meals. I start my day with fruits. It's become a part of me for the past two years. I don't struggle to do it. I would, like, I have a budget for my fruits. When I cannot do fruits in the morning, I do herbs. But I'm really very conscious about the thing that goes into my body first thing in the morning. My lunch is cooked, my dinner is cooked, but my breakfast has to be raw. Hmm. Do you understand? And the truth of the matter is we don't need to go so far. Um, while Sh um, Shadad Shadam is yes. talking, he mentioned Greek yogurt. You understand? Yes. You don't have to do Greek yogurt if you don't have the money to do Greek yogurt. There so are what's the alternative? There are vegetables all around us. The problem is that most times we just don't think they are that important. You, oh, walk on, yeah, okay. you walk on your street, St. Lee's, what we Yorubas call a fairy, mm. grows literally by the roadside. But no, we want to get to the market before we can buy them, even though, yes, they are cheap. But why can't I just pluck it by the roadside and use and it to wash make them yeah, and wash them and use them? <laughs> so I think we just need to be more conscious about the things that are happening around us okay. and use them to our advantage. So what are your thoughts on lemon water? A lot okay. of people, you know, have bottles with fruit, fruit-infused water, or okay. oh, it helps me lose weight. Are there, is there any truth to it? Uh, we're all just jumping on this new trend. <laughs> okay, no. Um, lemon can help you to lose weight, depending on how you're using it. Okay. Do you understand? I wouldn't say lemon helps me to lose weight because I don't have any weight to lose. Mm -hmm. But I take it because I just need to constantly clean, clean system. my system. You understand? Okay. And I don't take it in concentrated volumes. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm using maybe like just a, teaspoon, a tablespoon mixed with my glass. My glass is usually bigger than this okay. of juice. You understand? So I just had it to eat and all that. Now for infused lemon water, I usually advocate that for people that find it difficult to drink water. Yeah, you, because you they say some people. Yeah, some find, people tell. I don't know why they find it. Yeah, some people water. tell. I was like that, and that was how I started. I started taking fruit infused water, and that helped me. You understand to um, increase your my water your liquid intake. intake. Yes, mm -hmm. and that helps you to stay hydrated. Yeah. So if you cannot take, you know, ordinary water, you can infuse it with some fruits of Thanks. your choice. It doesn't have to be a lemon. Okay. It could be almond. I Cucumber. love I love watermelon. Okay. So I could drop, you know, bits of watermelon into my bottle and. But the truth of the matter is, after some time, your body just gets used to it and you find out that you wake up one morning and you just grab a bottle of water and you're drinking it. There is something I, I understand through, um, um, through the use of... Um, we know that the body, what actually cleanses the body, what actually detoxifies the body is the liver, yes. isn't it? Yes. So how does all these detox, detox, the toxic um, drinks and stuff, how do they aid the liver to work? in detoxifying the body. Okay, what happens is for your liver to function properly, it needs to produce bile. Wow, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it needs to produce bile. When your liver is not producing bile, you can have a, the liver will have a problem, you know, with, you know, eliminating toxins from your body. And when toxins are not being eliminated from your body, the liver is absorbing the toxins. Exactly. That's what happens. So at that point, when your liver is not doing what it is supposed to be doing, toxins keep accumulating in your body system. Remember I said earlier that so much times, what people need to do is weight loss, not weight loss. Mm. Because when you lose that waist, mm. you find out that you know, your body starts coming back Feels to itself. Better. Yes, so it is really, really, it helps. 
it helps taking bitter stuff also helps the liver to function properly mm -hmm. so you find out that our mothers don't joke squeeze, with things like yeah. bitter leaves. Yeah. So do, is it healthy to actually squeeze the juice yes, and it just is. take a glass? Yes, like a like shot. It doesn't have to be a full glass, you know, like a shot, those um, alcohol shots. That's the bitter shot. yeah. water. Yes. Just juice it and drink it. It helps your liver to function very well. You see, you really don't have to go too far. Bitter leaves is practically everywhere. everywhere. Back, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm. Practically everywhere. Okay. So it helps to increase, you know, bile secretion mm -hmm. um, in the liver, which ultimately helps yeah, if he was going to ask something about the fertility, yeah, the yes. fertility. I, I am of the opinion that, you know, some of us, we eat certain types of food, yeah. what we drink, what we eat. How does this affect um, one's sex drive and uh, fertility? It does affect, because I've had cases of, you know, people that um, I have, you know, that have come for sessions with me. And um, like I said, these foods are addictive. Um, they, they, they disrupt the endocrine system. What are the types of foods that are, we are supposed to abstain from? Junk foods, processed foods, fizzy drinks, basically. MSG seasoning affects fertility, you'll be shocked. Mm. Yeah, you will so be you, shocked. So you because should I've had abstain cases from of them. people that have been trying to conceive, and all I told them to do is stop eating these things that you're eating, start eating these things. They found it difficult, but because they have, I mean, like they have a, a body, they have a body, I mean, like either the family, their marriage is at stake or something, they had to do what they had to do. Mm. And trust me, they come back two, three months down the line, sometimes six months. I'm like, apart from the fact that they probably took in, they also feel better. better. And that, for me, is the goal. When you feel better in your body, nobody tells you so to continue to do. So how affordable are these herbs and the seasoning and all of these things? That it you depends on what you're looking at. It depends on what you're looking at. Depends on where you're looking at. Um, for instance, ginger is a natural spice that we find in abundance around us. Mm. Turmeric is in abundance. Yes. Rosemary is in abundance. You go to the regular spice market, you get all kinds of spices. They are not that expensive. However, if you don't want to go to come to people like us, of course you will not be buying it because uh, you will not be buying it at the price you're buying it in the market. You yeah. understand? Because I, as a person, I formulate my own product. You mm. understand? So. Um, I tell people, do it your way. There's DIY if you have to do it. You understand? Go to the local market and get as many spices. Experiment with them. Explore them. I am four years gone without MSG seasonings. You wouldn't know if you taste my meals. Is there a list of um, MSG products that people should stay away from? She said everything. Huh? Everything. <laughs> MSG is actually monosodium glutamate. Yeah. So it is found in practically every Every seasoning. Thing. I mean, not, not, just, not even just seasoning, even your processed foods. Wow. Yes, but because people don't know, you just see MSG and also sometimes they even write it in full. Yeah. But because people don't even understand what it means. So what and does so I teach it my people, do? What does it do? I teach my people something. I so say when you pick something off the shelf, if your brain cannot comprehend it, your mm. body does not understand it. That means you don't need it. What's Whoa. the effect of MSG so that the audience Number can one, it affects that. fertility. It disrupts your endocrine system, especially for females. You know, as females, we our our hormones are oh, always fluctuating all over the place. You don't want to do anything that is going to make that worse. So it disrupts your endocrine system. It disrupts, gives causes hormonal imbalance, allergies, migraines, headaches that you cannot explain. You just keep using the pills, yet nothing is happening, and you're wondering. But I've taken this, and then it, so it causes the high blood pressure. That's why you realize that if you have a good doctor and you go to the hospital, you're like, oh, I'm battling high blood pressure. They tell you to get off two things, MSG seasonings and regular salt. Why? Because the sodium content in it is So free. tell me mm. what are the alternatives quickly because... I've, I've said it. Use natural spices. Uh, cook so your meals. Milk, you cook with ginger? Yes. And... Yes. Even if you're cooking up so bono soup, you put ginger. Stuff? It doesn't have to be ginger. That's why I said there are, there are lots of spices out there. There's rosemary, there's cumin, there is, um, there is um, calabash nutmeg. Some you don't even know. So we have know. a question from, yeah. from us, um, an anonymous person okay. says, Good evening. So I've got a question for the guest. I heard her say she detox every day. I'm pretty much concerned about her look. I'd love to know how old she is and ask about the measures she's taking today to self-detoxification, if, really, if she really has. I love your show, and I must say you all have really detoxified yourself today <laughs> from the plenty talks. <laughs> Okay, Thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> okay, for starters, I'm 37. Wow. Yeah, I know I don't do things. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm 37. Mm -hmm. And yes, when I said detox, I don't do intense detox, uh, except when my body needs it. And I've, I, that's because I have know. learned to yeah. listen to, to my body. body. You understand? But I do, cucumber is just naturally detox. So yeah. you can just chew so it. So you can, you can chew it, you can, but best, when you want to do a detox, it's best you juice it. Because okay. your body um, absorbs that faster. Okay. Um, your digestive system is, is not is going to... Is it juice through. or blend? Because there's two things. Yeah, no, you juice. You know the smoothie one and the juice are two different. No, yes. So juice, juice it. For cleansing, it's okay. juicing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to go, for instance, you're on a weight loss journey, just trying, you're trying to watch what you eat. Smoothie will work for you because it keeps you fuller. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps you fuller. So you don't get the, hungry the fiber easy. is still inside. The fiber is still mm -hmm. inside. So for detox, it's juicing. Juicing. Totally juicing. Exactly. Okay. For detox, it has to be juicing. Mm. So um, that is, I want to say, other questions. So, yeah, asked. the other question was, um, what are the measures you're taking today to do self-detoxification if you have? For me, like I said, I do fruits every morning, mm. fruit juice every morning. I, have a I take a glass of fruit juice. And now I work with whatever fruits that I have. Because, that is in season. Yes, that is in season. Mm. Like I said earlier, I'm a fantastic lover of watermelon. Like I can't do without my watermelon. So maybe what we would do, because um, we need to understand. I, I still can't, cannot comprehend me cooking chicken. Without, Without the seasoning. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to be possible. <laughs> My husband does not know want to hear that one. <laughs> you know, but maybe we'll probably do like an after show setup where you will tell us the, like, me, if I like, I'm a good student. Tell me, we are buying ginger, two pieces. Do this one. If I cook the chicken and it doesn't come out tasty, <laughs> We will you not do it again. But, but <laughs> I, I hear you because I, I, I know someone that's always complaining of migraines. And they've gone to the hospital. They've checked and checked and checked. It seems like there's nothing. Okay. So probably maybe this um, this um, theory that. of changing your what diet. you're eating, yeah. you know, would work for her, yeah. you know. But have you had cases of like success stories of people? Plenty. You don't wow. want to know. Plenty. So I've lost works. count. Like I have practically lost count. Okay, so what, what would you say to anybody out there just to, you know? Okay, what I, what I like to say to people is this. Healthy living is not as expensive as you think it is. Okay. It is, it is a lifestyle. Mm. It, is not, um, it is not a destination. You understand? It's a journey. It's a journey. Mm. So it is in the little things that you do every single day. Mm. Don't go too far. Mm. Like I said, be more observant of things around, that, around yeah, you. that you have around you. You're walking on the streets. Just be observant of the plants, the vegetables, you understand, and just make do with them. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. So in <laughs> summary, you said a healthy gut is a healthy body. Yeah. Um, you said that MSG um, affects, gives people allergies. Yeah. Um, it migraines. It affects the endocrine system, yes. migraines, high blood pressure, yes. and then it also affects fertility. Yes. You also said that uh, cleansing and detox is used interchangeably. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and how often you detox depends on you as an individual. Yeah, your uh, lifestyle. Depending on what you take yes. in your body. Yes. And uh, that people stay away from fizzy drinks. Um, they're addictive. <laughs> That's very important. And people can incorporate ginger, turmeric, rosemary, cumin, and other natural-based spices. spices into their diet. Okay, so we've, we're, good we're good students yes. today. <laughs> <laughs> right. So in case you missed um, today's quote, um, it is leave to, to eat. eat. No, oh, eat, eat to, to leave, leave. Not, and not, not leave, leave to, to eat. eat. So oh. just put that with all she said and with all Shadams had said, you will know that what you put inside your system is very key. So catch us live every weekend from Fridays to Sundays at 8 p.m. as we bring thought-provoking and engaging information to your screen. You can remember to watch a repeat of tonight's episode 3 p.m. tomorrow. Um, it's been an insightful conversation. Yeah, totally. Thank you so much, Adiron Kef, for joining welcome. us. And thanks yeah, to Shadam. Thank I forgot to thank him. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Shadam also for coming. So we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.